Hi everyone, this is Lisa. Hope you're having a good weekend. Today we're going to talk about masking our stamped images with rubber cement. It's a super easy thing to do, especially if you hate fussy cutting a mask. So this is just regular old Elmer's rubber cement. You can get it just about anywhere, even at the grocery store. So we'll need that and you'll also need to pick out sort of a fine tip brush but you want to designate it just for rubber cement because it gets kind of gunky. Okay, so here's what we're going to be masking today, these two little hedgehogs. So I'm going to open up my rubber cement. I'm just going to pour a little bit out and you'll see that I get way more out than what I want. Be sure that you screw the, the lid back on good because it will harden in the bottle if you don't. So it's kind of stringy. So you have to sort of scoop it up on your brush and then twirl it around like you would your spaghetti on a fork. So you just put a glob down and then where those fine par parts are there, I'm just pushing the rubber cement like into those parts. You want to be careful to stay inside the lines because anywhere the rubber cement is, is going to mask. So we're doing a ground and sky scene here so we don't want halos around our hedgehogs. Boy, I say that three times fast. So I'm just making sure she's well covered. It doesn't have to be even. It doesn't have to be level. Just make sure that it's completely covered. So now I've done both of them and I'm carefully looking under the light to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I see that I missed his foot. So I'm going to come back in and put a little more there on the foot. And then we're going to set this aside to dry. It takes about 20 minutes to half an hour. In the meantime, I'm going to clean my brush off with this baby wipe because I'm not near a sink and water. And you can tell when it's all off because it's no longer gunky. So you can let this dry on your craft mat and I do recommend putting the rubber cement on a craft mat, but I need it out of my way. So I'm kind of scrubbing it up here with the baby wipe and you can see how it, it pills up because it's rubber. All right. So now that we're all dry here and it's going to feel tacky to the touch, but it is dry. So it doesn't come off on my fingers at all. And I'm going to bring in, we need to mask off the sky and the ground. So I'm bringing in, in some masking paper. This is what I've been using, this 6465 from Avery. Um, it's a easy release or removable and it has 25 sheets in it so it'll last a long time. And since this is a new piece of paper, I'm going to pull this off and save the backing paper because you can use this multiple times. So I'm deciding here where I'm going to be putting the, the ground. I, I don't want the ground right at the bottom of their feet. I want some of the ground behind them. So this is where I've decided to place it. I'm coming in with some pool party and I'm going to ink it up good. I need to refill my pad there. I'm coming in from the side with a very light hand and I'm just sort of gently sponging this guy. Now, of course, you can go over the top of the hedgehogs where you've put your mask because after all, that's why we put it there, right? Okay, so now the sky's done. And like I said, this is a brand new piece of masking paper. So I am going to be super, super careful pulling this off. I'm just going to slowly peel it off because I don't want to pull off any of that rubber cement. So just super careful, pulling it back, taking my time and okay, we're out of the woods. All right. So we're going to flip it upside down and we're going to place our masking paper over the top of the sky and we're going to overlap it just a little bit because you don't want the sky and the ground to have a line between them. So that's why you overlap. So now I'm bringing in Pear Pizzazz, doing the same thing in sponging with a light hand. And my masking paper flipped up there, so I had to flip it back down. So I'm just going to continue doing this until it's all covered. Now, 
this time on, I have to be quite so careful, but you still don't want to pull any of that rubber cement off. Okay. And then you can save this because it's still plenty tacky to use again. All right, so I have a little place there where my masking paper peeled up. So I'm just coming in with a sponge and smoothing that out. And then I'm going to borrow uh, some grass stamps from the High Tide st stamp set. And I didn't show you the stamp set that we're using. This is Hedgehogs and it is in the new catalog. Super, super cute stamp set can do a lot with it. Okay, so I want to give the ground some detail just so it's not so plain. That's why I'm using the grass. So I'm just going to stamp the grass in. Now on my finish card, I used embossing paste and I made some clouds on the top, but I'm not doing that in this part of the video because we're just focusing on masking. Okay, so you want to set your, your card aside and let the ink dry otherwise you're going to smear it so now what i'm doing is i've brought in a cloth and i'm just very gently peeling back that rubber cement it'll sort of pill and you want to keep changing positions on your cloth because you don't want to um, say get a piece of that rubber that has ink on it still and then have it smear someplace on your other part of your card like the ground so you just keep rubbing it off and you'll be able to tell when it's all off because you can touch it and you won't feel any of that raised or sticky area. It's all smooth again. Okay, so now that I have all the rubber cement off, I'm coming in with a pair of pizzazz marker and I went over the line with her a little bit with the rubber cement. So this is gonna serve two purposes. It's going to put a shadow underneath them and cover up my boo-boo doing the same thing over here. And I have a little bit of rubber cement left, so that's what I was doing, pulling that off. All right, now I'm gonna make them cute. I'm gonna bring in a fine tip black pen. I'm gonna darken her eyes and give her some eyelashes. And then I'm gonna darken in her nose. I'm gonna do his eye, no eyelashes for him and his nose. And I'm coming in with a cotton ball that has some pink pastel on it just to give them some really super soft cheeks. You can see my hemostat keeps falling apart. I have that because it no longer worked when I was in the OR. So that's what we do with them. Instead of throwing them away, we use them in our crafting. Okay, so here's our finished card. And you can see I have the embossed guy on there uh, with the embossing paste. Isn't that cute? And then I put those little things on there. I don't know what they are. They're not quills, but I used a white gel pen to do that. And then here's the card that we just worked on. And you know, I think they look okay without those white things. So either way you want to do it. So that was super quick and super easy. Um, and I appreciate you spending your Saturday with me. Please subscribe to my channel. And I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.